Hey guys, Wes here. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to customize layouts on each breakpoint using Superfields. So here we have a page set up with a Superfields collection and provided you only view this page on a computer, well, it looks great. But unfortunately, that's never the case. And 62% of all internet browsing is done on phones. And if you look at this page on a phone, you are probably going to back out and never use this website ever again. Probably go find a different website. So how do we fix it? Because that's not ideal at all. So with Superfields, you've got the flexibility to tweak collection list layouts and component variants across different breakpoints. So please don't bother duplicating collection lists and setting them to visible based on the breakpoint or anything like that. There's a far better way to do this. So let's start with the primary breakpoint. First, get your collection list layout and component variants exactly how you want them for your default screen size. This is your base. Everything else is gonna build off of this. So just to show you, my blog card component has two variants. Uh, one that's horizontally stacked and one that's vertically stacked. Now we can go ahead and add our tablet and our phone breakpoint. And just really quick, I'm just going to fix this up a little bit. Maybe just go from 48 on the size just to 20. And now we've got something a little bit more realistic. But even then, it's not quite looking ideal. So after selecting the Superfields component, go to this one, you can head over to the right-hand panel and find the component options right here. From here, you can adjust the layout settings. I'll show you what I've got. So we can increase the gap like this. Or anything you want to do, you can change it to a grid, masonry, um, anything like that. You can also switch out component variants for each breakpoint individually, which is super handy. So I'm going to keep mine as the horizontal variant for the desktop and tablet because it doesn't look too bad. It's pretty good. And then for the phone breakpoint, I'm going to go down to component and type in, let me just double check what I named it. So you just want to type in the name. Okay, so it's literally just called vertical. I'm going to go here, uh, go to component and type in vertical, right? And then hit enter. Now, don't freak out if this doesn't update to the component variant you're after. This is normal. It doesn't show in the editor. Only when you preview the page and on your live site will it show the correct component variant. You can see by this note here. So if I was to hit preview, you can see it's using the horizontal component variant and it goes down to tablet. And then for phone, you see there, it's using the vertically stacked component, just like that. Even though it doesn't show up here, you can feel safe knowing that it's definitely showing up in your preview. Just make sure to check it. So that's how you customize your Superfield layouts on each breakpoint. Hope this helped and that you have a great day.